So I've been away for two weeks on vacation, only to return and notice that the 10.1.5 PTR is live right now, and a ton of news has been released around it. Time Rifts are a new event that are coming, which seems like a fun thing. With them comes another set of catch-up gear, and today we'll be covering all of the new armor sets and what they look like. There's also a new dragon riding gear set we'll take a quick look at too. What you're seeing now are the new plate sets. There are two for Horde and two for Alliance, with one overlapping. The first one here looks very Paladin themed. The other ones are Orc themed, and the Alliance one is very Human themed. Now, these may all look familiar to you, and if they do, it's because the Paladin themed one is actually a recolor of an old Paladin set. The Horde Warmonger set are themed ones from Battle for Azeroth Season 1 Warfront, same with the Alliance set. They're both recolored. Now, this is going to be the theme with the rest of the armor sets as well. Each armor type will come with an old class set and two Warfront sets that have all been recolored, depending on whether or not you're Horde or Alliance. Before moving on to the male sets, here's a quick look at the Dragon Racing armor set coming in 10.1.5. This set is the same for all armor types and all factions. Hey there, Rotan here. I make to the point videos about World of Warcraft, helping people obtain collectibles, cosmetics, and mounts that they want easily and quickly. If that sounds like a fun time, subscribe. Now let's move on to the male armor. This first set, the Utopian Armaments, which are what these set pieces are called, looks great in my opinion. I actually couldn't find out which class set recolor this was supposed to be, but it definitely looks to be something Vrykul related from Wrath of the Lich King or similar. As we move on to the Warmonger set, I actually really enjoy this black recolor. I definitely prefer it to the original red colors from Battle for Azeroth. The Alliance versions of this set though, I'm a little underwhelmed by to be honest. I'd say I prefer the original Battle for Azeroth colors on that set for sure. With the leather set, I wanted to start off on the Warmonger set as this recolor is just absolutely awesome in my opinion. You know I like my black and red sets and this really fits the bill, though it's kind of a brownish red color as the accent. The other set is very druid, which is an interesting choice as the other leather wearers will look out of place in this set I think. The Alliance leather set is my second favorite Alliance set behind the plate set, but the original colors definitely look better in my opinion back from Battle for Azeroth rather than the new recolor. And finally, we're going to end this off with cloth. This set looks very mage or very priest, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find the original set this might be a recolor of. Out of the four Utopian sets, which were those class sets we got, this one is definitely my least favorite. As we look towards the war sets, I really enjoy this horde recolor. It reminds me of the Undead Warlock armor set from the game's original cinematics and commercials. Now the original colors aren't bad either. The Alliance set though is the weakest here overall for me, both in the new recolor and the old original colors. I just really don't like this set. So there we have it, that's all the new armor sets on the PTR so far coming in patch 10.1.5. There is more new content coming your way. We got mount videos, secret treasure videos, more trading post videos, and a whole ton more. So thanks for watching and be sure to check in. Take care.